Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to make a wooden barrel in Blender. And you can see here is what it's going to look like. I've just gone ahead and duplicated an extra one just to show you what it will look like from a different angle but we're just making a barrel. And you can see these are the two materials. I'm going to show you where you can get them for free online. And it's just a fun little project. Um, it's just fun. If you're new to Blender this is a fun little thing to make. So let's jump in and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start by selecting all of our default objects, like so. We're gonna press delete, and now we have a nice empty scene. So let's go ahead, shift A. Let's go to our mesh options. Let's add in a cylinder. Now, the cylinder has these vertices options here. We're just gonna leave it at 32. Yeah, that's gonna work perfect for what we're trying to do with the barrel. So no, no need to change any of those settings. So we're gonna tab into edit mode with all of this active. We're gonna go S, Z, and scale everything a little bit on the Z axis. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go Control R to add in a loop, double click, and then S to scale it up a little bit. And then you're simply just going to go Control B to create a bevel, and then roll your middle mouse button to add in about this many segments. And you can move your mouse even further if you want. Then you can press A to select everything, go S, Z, and just maybe scale it up. Just make it a little bit more barrel shaped. Now you can always grab proportional editing and kind of scale the middle, just to kind of match it all up. Um, barrels, there are a lot of different sizes and shapes of barrels. Um, so there's no one kind of like absolute definite kind of curvature that they have. Like you're going to have to look at some references. They're all a little bit different, but this is kind of what I'm going with. So what we're going to do here, is we're going to go to our top orthographic view. And from here, we're just going to select um, everything. So holding and shift, let's just select everything except just one row of faces like this. So in fact, select everything and then just go shift alt, left click and deselect just a row of these guys coming up like so. So just a row of them and then you're gonna go X and you're gonna delete faces. So all we have is this. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to think about, it. we had um, 32 of those vertices. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our calculator. Let's go work it out. So we're gonna go 360 and let's divide it at by 32 and that gives us 11.25. So what we're gonna do, let's go to our top orthographic view by pressing seven on the number pad. Let's select this, tab into edit mode and let's change our um, pivot, transform pivot to 3D cursor. Our 3D cursor is in the center here where our origin point is. So that's gonna work just perfect. So we're gonna go shift D to duplicate and then we're gonna follow that by R, Z, 11, 0.25 and we're gonna hit enter. And now if we go shift R, we can hold that in and it's just gonna repeat that action all the way around till we come to the other end. And because we worked it out with the math, it should be 100% accurate. We can now press A to select everything. And let's just go over to our modifiers. Let's just give this a, uh, let's go with a solidify modifier. And let's take these out like so, okay? Now we kind of have the gap we're looking for like that. Okay, that's cool. You can make this however thick you want. I'm gonna go something like that. But it'll make it look even better. Let's give this a bevel modifier and let's change the bevel. Let's make it smaller. So something like this and you can add more segments. So I'm gonna bump it up to two. And let's give this a subdivision surface modifier just to smooth things out. And now you can right click and go shared smooth. So now we have the kind of the planks of our barrel here. And the thing you can do here, if you feel like the gap in here is just a little bit too big, just tab into edit mode. And then what you can do is you can go over, I think, to our solidify. And you just come here to the offset a little bit. And you can mess around with this offset till that gap here kind of closes a little bit. So you can see now they're touching over here. So just mess around with the thickness and the offset on the solidify to kind of close that gap. But we have the barrel here, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go shift A, let's add in a circle. And let's go G, Z, just move it all the way to the top. And we're gonna tab into edit mode. And we're gonna go E to extrude that up. Let's make something like this and then go Control R, double click, add in a little um, loop. And let's just change our transforms back to median point. Let's go S to scale it out a little bit. And then we're gonna go Control B and just give it a little bit of a bevel. Now we've kind of got this kind of like ring here. We're gonna take that and let's go back in to object mode. We're gonna go G, Z, move it down and then tab back into edit mode and scale it up. And this is gonna be this is gonna kind of be like this band that comes around like this. So you can grab your proportional editing, select the top one, kind of scale it in a little bit just to match the curvature of the barrel. Once you're happy, you can press A to select everything. 
scale it out a little bit and then go E to extrude and then Alt S and scale it in along the normals. Just so we have this band running around and you can tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. So now we have this metal band. Let's give it a subdivision surface modifier. I might just scale it a little bit on the Z. And then we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and we're gonna go R 180 to rotate it. Let's go G, Z and let's move it down and bring one down here as well. Just so we have both of these kind of going around the barrel. Okay, that's looking really good. Now we're just gonna go Shift A. Let's just quickly add in another circle. G, Z, move it up and in edit mode, let's just go F to fill in those faces. And now we can just scale it till it looks about like this. Simply just grab that guy, go Shift D to duplicate and drag him down. So let's now go ahead and give this some materials. I'm gonna show you exactly where to get them. So you're gonna to go to the internet and there's this website called polyhaven.com. I'll put a link in the description. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your textures. And then under the search here, you're just gonna type in wood and you have all sorts to choose from. I'm gonna go with the wood cabinet worn, this one here. I'm just gonna download the 2K map. Go ahead and download that. And then let's go back while that's downloading and let's type in here metal. And let's just get this rusty gore, um, course and go ahead and download that as well. And we'll just wait for those to download as two zip files. So here you can see inside of my download folder, I've got these two. I'm just gonna extract these zip files and quickly extract this one. So now we've got this worn um, cabinet here and this rust. So now all we have to do in Blender is go file, append, then go to our downloads or wherever we have those downloaded. And let's get the wood um, cabin material. Let's click on the blend file. Let's go to material and then click on this material. Now it's appended and let's just go append again. And let's go back and let's get that other one, the rust course, click on that folder, click on the blend file and then go to the material and then click on the rust course. Now all we have to do is select the barrel. Let's first of all go to our render settings and let's just change the render engine to cycles. If you have a GPU, I recommend you use it. And then under the render settings, let's just make this, I'm gonna go 55, you can bump it up if you want. I'm then gonna select the actual wooden planks here. I'm gonna to go to my material properties. I'm gonna come here to the drop down and give it that worn cabin, cabinet. Now if we go Z and we go material preview, we can see this is kind of looking okay, but everything is repeating. So let's go over to our UV editing and let's come over here and you can actually change this here. Let's just change this to the wood cabinet diffuse so we can see a little bit better. And now we can grab all of these. So this barrel here should be selected. All of these should be active. And over here, you can select all of them at the same time and go S to scale up. And if it's really slow, just go to your modifiers and let's turn them all off in the viewport for now. And then over here, you can do this a lot faster. So we're gonna bring it over here and we're gonna go S to scale it up. And we're gonna match it over here. Then what we can do is we can grab a vertex here, go Control L and then go G and move it over. And we can keep doing that. We're just gonna select the vertex because they're all stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna select this one here, move this here, select another vertex, Control L, and just move them randomly all over the place. Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit because there's 32 of them. But we're just gonna select this and just mix it up a bit. And that's really gonna add a nice random variation to this. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. Like so, grab one here. If you don't do this, it'll just look too repetitive. So just randomly keep grabbing this, move them to random spots. And here we have it, I've randomly mixed them. And if we now go over here and go Z and go material preview, we should be able to see it's not repeating as much anymore. It's looking a lot better. So now what we have to do is tab back out. Let's just turn all of these back on for the display. Now let's grab these, um, plates over here and let's just go ahead holding and shift select both of them and go control J just to join them together like this and now we can go to our materials come to the drop down and give them that same wooden cabinet tab into edit mode and with both of them active just go U and unwrap like so and now all you have to do is come over here and just select them and you can kind of come here and scale them however you want but I'm just going to leave them at the default here I think they feel right and you can see now it's matching a lot better here now just grab the metal rings and give them that, in fact, I'm just gonna select both of them and go Control J to join them together. And then I'm gonna to come to a drop down and give them that rust course. And then we're just gonna simply go into here and let's just go 
Shift Alt left click to select this. Shift Alt left click to select this edge and then go Control E, mark edge same and then go A to select everything and go U and unwrap. And now we've got them unwrapped. Um, if you go to the actual rust course, you can better see how they would be laid out. And now if you go over here, you can kind of see we have that nice rust texture. Just go to the shading workspace if you want. And with this, you can just simply go to your um, network here with the rust material. And let's just go increase that metallic value. And then go shift A search and get a color ramp, place it on this top input here from the base color. And then grab this top value, bring it down a bit and make it a little bit more gray like this. So now if we go shift A and we add in an area light. Let's just go to our light settings. Let's make it 300 on the strength and increase the size. We can now go Z and go rendered. And now we can see this is what we have. So let's go shift D to duplicate this light. I might bump the strength up to 500. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this light a few times by going Shift D. And let's just line that up. Okay, that's looking okay. Let's get some nice lighting. And I'm also just gonna to go to my render settings. I'm gonna go down to the film and enable transparent. So here we have a nice looking barrel. Um, you can always mess around with these different shaders. Okay, so I almost completely forgot. So I had to, um, when I was editing this, I decided just to quickly jump back into Blender and just show you guys. So one thing we also wanna do is we wanna make sure to just create this little um, cap or rim at the top. There's like kind of like another bracket that runs along the top. I completely forgot about that. Um, almost all barrels have them. So we can just simply reuse what we have. So something like this, just making a simple band and then we can just like, you know, duplicate it and rotate it and place it at the bottom. So that's kind of important. Can't believe I almost forgot that bit. So, and here you can see that's looking a lot better in the rendered mode here with that extra bracing around like that. So let's get back into the rest of the video. All you want, um, you know, tr mess around with roughness, all that sort of stuff. But this is actually a very simple way to make a nice looking um, wooden barrel. So let's just go ahead now and add in a camera. Position a camera however you will. And then once you're happy, you can go ahead and render and render the image. And here we have a nice looking barrel. I'll be uploading this final model to my Patreon. It'll be in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little modeling exercise of making a realistic barrel. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.